All right, some tips on using your rocket stove and being efficient with it. So number one, they seem really simple. If you don't know a couple really basic things, it, it, they basically are very difficult and they become a pain. Most important thing is airflow and decent sized sticks. If you get these really little teeny twigs, it's they're just gonna burn too fast. So like, you know, three quarters, three eighths, half inch, one inch sticks, th those are really, I think the best. And what you do is you just keep sliding them in, okay? You push them in as hard as you can, and basically, because of the airflow, it burns. Now, <clears throat> um, what you wanna see, let's see if it's doing it right now, is you wanna see what's called the vortex. See how it's kind of swirling in there, okay? That's that's how you know this thing's optimized, okay? You don't really want that flame coming, coming out like that, because then it's just gonna burn, whatever. And really, at that point, you're actually not utilizing the the heat and the fuel efficiently is shooting up too fast instead of coming out and just and dispersing properly so so it doesn't matter what kind you have whether it's a little one or one like this or you make one out of wood um you know those are kind of the the big tips that i've learned the other thing is when you start seeing that fire come out like this now you're you're starting to be inefficient where the you know so now you've got to push that in so i'm gonna use like a you know shovel or something a kid's shovel try to get that in there you know, and now it's probably time to grab some more bigger sticks. See how I'm pushing this one in? And I'm kind of pushing in the, the, the charred part on the back. Um, that's really important. Um, you need that airflow coming in through here, vortexing on the top. That's going to give you the proper amount of heat distribution to cook. And um, you're not wasting just the energy. It's just shooting straight up. So anyway, that is some rock stove stuff.